The evolution of football is forcing recruiters to stop and think about which positions are valuable and which ones are clearly replaceable. Take the 2020 recruiting class for example. The highest rated quarterback on ESPN's top 300 is rated number 60. There are only two offensive players in the top 10, with the rest being defensive linemen or outside linebackers. It goes to show that getting after the quarterback and setting the edge as a pass rusher are easily the most valuable attributes to have as a player in this generation. Defensive players with great speed for their size are going to be the most sought after players as long as the current trends of the game stay the same. For example, NFL superstars Khalil Mack, Von Miller, Aaron Donald, Demarcus Lawrence, and Joey Bosa all possess those traits that make them some of the highest paid and most dominating players in the league with rookie hopefuls Nick Bosa and Josh Allen seeming to be next in line. Anyways, I just wanted to share that real quick with you guys to clarify why the top 10 features the positions that it does. So without further ado, let's get started on the top 10 recruits for the high school graduating class of 2020. First up at number 10, we have the 6 foot 4, 212 pound Reggie Grimes. This kid is listed as an outside linebacker, but the long frame combined with his quickness will most likely place him at the hybrid outside linebacker defensive end position. I expect him to put on another 40 pounds or so throughout college and compare him to Jaguars rookie Josh Allen. I mean, just look at the traps on this kid. Come on. At number 9, we have the 6 foot 3, 227 pounder from Bury in Washington, Savelle Smalls. Gotta love a Washington recruit cracking the top 10. Savelle is listed as a defensive end, but also stands up as an outside linebacker. He's definitely a bigger kid, and I see him playing defensive end in college and the pros. However, Savelle is a freak athlete that also plays some wide receiver, so don't be surprised if his coaches move him around at the next level. When it's all said and done, his most comparable pro player is Demarcus Lawrence. The eighth ranked player in the nation is 6 foot 5, 290 pound defensive tackle Brian Breesey. To think that there's seven players ranked ahead of this man-child is mind-blowing. The high-motor Clemson commit shows great quickness off the line, and combine that with his 295-pound frame, we may be looking at the next J.J. Watt. The way Brian makes a beeline for the quarterback makes me wonder if he's even human. When this kid grows completely into his frame, we may be witnessing one of the most dominant football players we've ever seen on the defensive line. At number 7, we have the only Cali kid on this list in 6 foot 2, 225 pound outside linebacker Justin Flo. Out of the first four pass rushers we've covered, Justin hands down gets into the backfield the fastest. His timing when the ball is snapped, mixed with his quickness off the ball, makes him terrifying for opposing backfields. As you should expect from a kid this talented, he plays with a certain chip on his shoulder and swagger that will intimidate backfields for years to come. The number one linebacker in the 2020 class will be as entertaining to watch as they come with the way he flies around the field. Next up, we have sixth ranked Jordan Birch. Jordan is a six foot four, 250 pound defensive end that absolutely dominates the high school competition. Not sure if it was the competition or his ridiculous athleticism, but so far he's been the most dominant player on film. Watching the film is as if he's a college All-American playing against high schoolers. He's also a star basketball player, and the left-hander kinda almost looks like a mini Zion Williamson. After Jordan adds size in college, he will relate to a player similar to Miles Garrett. At number five, we have the lanky six foot three, 220 pound defensive end, Chris Braswell. Chris will be graduating from St. Francis Academy in Baltimore, Maryland. An interesting side note on this guy, his high school is so good that other schools in Maryland refuse to play them. These schools are afraid that their players will get hurt and that the competition disparity is too severe. This past season they had to play a team from Canada and you guys can only imagine how that one turned out. Anyways, Chris is unquestionably the star of this nationally ranked team and has already committed to playing for Nick Saban in the Crimson Tide. He has more of a slim build and after he puts on a bit more size and grows into his body, I see him producing like a Josh Allen of the Jaguars. And at number four, we finally have an offensive player in six foot two, 200 pound wide receiver, Julian Fleming. With Julian being number four as a wide receiver, it shows how talented this kid is. There isn't another receiver even ranked in the top 20. So he's the clear cut favorite as the top wideout in the nation. 
Julian's remarkable athleticism and explosiveness is what separates him from the pack. The Ohio State commit reminds me of a slightly taller version of an Odell Beckham Jr. His personality doesn't seem as overbearing as OBJ's, but this kid has a legit chance to be a star receiver in the NFL, especially since he'll be groomed at OSU. Coming in at number three, we have the long frame of Desmond Evans. Listed at 6'6", 235 pounds, Desmond has potential to become the most dominant pass rusher in college football will have to offer. He's a very reserved kid who lets his play do the talking, which makes him that much more scary. His 6'6 six six frame is all you want in a pass rusher as offensive linemen will have a tough time getting extended and being able to control his pass rushing ability. If he's able to put on another 20 to 30 more pounds in college, I expect him to be a top five draft pick in the next several years. At number two, we have the king of all defensive ends in the top 10 class with 6 foot 5, 271 pound Miles Murphy. After watching him swallow up ball carriers over and over in the film, I'd be shocked if this kid doesn't end up being a star in the NFL. To go with his prolific quickness for his size and obvious strength, Miles has a great head on his shoulders, and his attitude reminds me of Jets first round pick Quinnen Williams. His superb football IQ with his willingness to get better, the sky's the limit for this kid as I expect him to dominate on the field no matter the competition. The top player in the 2020 class is the 6 foot 200 pound running back from Houston, Texas, Zachary Evans. The fact that Evans tops this list of players means that there's something to this kid that is very, very special. After watching film, I see that he accelerates to his top speed in the blink of an eye while having great vision and making the right cut almost every time. His agility and speed combined with his knack to slip off tackles along with that great vision reminds me of Cowboys star Ezekiel Elliott. Evans is a very well-rounded back that will step in and be an impact player right away at the next level. So that brings an end to the top 10 high school recruiting class of 2020. There's so much talent in this class and some of the names will be around for years to come. Let me know in the comments below who you guys are most excited to watch play at the next level. For me personally, I think that Brian Breesey is going to be the most fun to watch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.